Strongman, the IFSA European Championships from Riga, Latvia. Day one saw tremendous competition. Two world records were broken. One man, Zadrunas Savickas, was dominant. But four strongman spots still to be decided. Now, the dramatic conclusion of the European Championships. A beautiful day and a beautiful crowd here in Riga, Latvia for the 2005 IFSA European Championships. Hi again, everybody. Doug Anderson along with former world champion Jamie Reeves. We've got a tremendous lineup here. Doug, we've got everything. We've got the sunshine. We've got the cloud. We've got the strongest guys in Europe all fighting for a place at the World Championships. The four places on offer. Everybody's ready to go. Getting set for action here on day two. Savickas, this is his to lose. Everyone else, they're battling for the final three spots. Four incredibly difficult events on tap today, beginning with the Ipsa Shield Carry. Weighing 182 and a half kilos, 400 pounds. The Finnish Beach Boy, the Polish powerhouse. Both men need to turn it up a notch. Hanski and Lota. Lota, one of the few guys that can wrap his arms completely around the implement. Yes, and the thing is with Lota, he's very, very fit, and so is Robert Szypanski. Talking to Tommy Lota earlier, and he figures he might be able to push in about 100 meters. Well, he's definitely got the tools for the job, Doug. He's got those long arms, like you say. He's around six foot five, and he's very, very fit. CV plays a big part in this, Doug. You've got to be very, very fit, Absolutely. because that shield is pressing on your chest. You just can't get enough air in. But Shabansky's out of the blocks like a rocket Abs here. Look at Shabansky go through the first 25 meters. Lota hanging on quickly. Shabansky has his hands clasped at the front as well. He's making the turn very quickly at 50 meters. Right behind him, Tommy Lota. Well, I think Tommy Lota thought he was going to fly away with this one. But Shabansky's really going well here. That's 75 meters and he's still going. This could be 100 meters from Szypanski if he can make it back. He's starting to slow down a bit, coming up at 85 meters. Lota struggling around the turn, dropping at just over 90 meters, probably around 93. Lota coming up on 85 meters, one step after another and he'll drop. Tommy Lota physically drained, but a solid effort from both of these guys, Jamie. Yeah, I don't think Tommy Lotta was expecting Szypanski to come out of the blocks like that. And he was playing catch-up after that. You see here, Szypanski going really, really well. Coming up to around 80 metres. And he's down, but that's a fantastic distance for Szypanski. Tommy Lotta with a solid effort. Robert Szypanski puts on a show. He is the current leader. Now, the two young guns from Russia and Estonia. Up next, Andrus Buramets and Mikhail Kotlyev. And again, Jamie, this should be a good guys, two good guys to watch. This should indeed. Kotlyev's the ideal goal for this kind of event. Long levers, very tall. I think if anybody's going to get to 100 metres, Kotlyev's the guy to do it. Old prediction indeed. Mirometz in the foreground, Kukliev in the rear. Mirometz able to grasp the hands, Kukliev as well. The current distance to beat 92.75 meters of Robert Chapansky. There's Mirometz through the first 25. Kukliev makes the turn shortly behind. Well, Mirometz is going well here. Kokleff a little bit slower. Yeah. 
Littermetz at 50 meters, now through 60. And tripping and falling oh. is Kokleyev, and he drops at 51 meters. That's a disaster for Kokleyev. But on the other hand, Andreas Muramets could be the guy to get a 100. He's up at around 80 metres now. And he still has his hands glassed, Jamie. He hasn't dropped it yet. Now through 90 metres. Coming up on the 100 metre barrier and just shy, Muramets will make the drop. Well, I don't know what went wrong here for Mikhail Kokleev whether it was a trip or he just slipped. But after 50 metres, the shield drops, and that's a disaster. Some big points on the board for Kokliev, and he drops just after 50 metres, while Muramets went almost 100, just shy of 95 metres. What an excellent effort. Mikhail Kokliev, 52.10 metres, and Andres Muramets, 94.20 metres. Like he Paul from Norway are here to do some damage. Next up, Sven Carlsen, the Norwegian veteran, takes on his specialty, the yoke. I'm gonna rise like the bird phoenix from the ashes again. Everybody thought I was too old, but I showed them. Riga Latvia is the proud host to the IFSA Strongman European Championship. The yoke tests strength speed and stamina. Looking to knock off the favorite Sven Karlsson will be fellow Scandinavian Tomi Lota and Lithuanian powerhouse Sejrunas Savikis with crucial points ready to be decided. The yoke race, 410 kilos, 903 pounds over a 30 meter course. 75 seconds are allocated. For Viking power, the yoke is a matter of pride. Here's Sven Carlsen of Norway, and Sven can put up a good time. This is a good event for him. Well, remember Sven Carlsen had the record at 25 seconds. I'm sure Carlsen wants that record back. And this is a fabulous performance. He's steaming down that course, Carlsen. Past 25 meters, Carlsen to the finish line. What a very big effort from Norway's Ben Carlsen. He goes right past the 30 meter mark and puts on a show for the crowd here in Riga, Latvia. Just look at the speed of this by Carlsen. He seems to be getting faster and faster as he senses the finish line and just powers all the way through. A new world record for Carlsen in the York race. 20.78 seconds, that's fantastic. Sven Carlsen reclaims the world record. He's standing by with Tammy Tyson. Unbelievable, fantastic. You set a new world record. Is that what your plan was when you started? I hold the world record in the seventh for almost eight years. And this is a new one. Nobody can beat me here. <laughs> no kidding. I'm closing up on 40. Still only lost this event once. Incredible, way to go, Sven. The Beach Boy looking to turn it on in day two. Finland's Tommy Lota up next, and he has his work cut out for him if he's going to move in to the top three. Lota out of the gate fairly quickly. Yeah, this York's 410 kilograms. Got to be carried 30 meters, and Tommy Lota's doing a good job here. He's really motoring down the course. Lota coming up on 25 meters, has the finish line in sight. No put down for Tommy Lota. A very solid effort and he is a happy camper. Boy, Tommy Lota has to be happy with that effort and a very appreciative crowd here at Mesa Park in Riga, Latvia as he tosses his hat up into the stands. Well, it'll be interesting to see that time. Tommy Lotta, you see, accelerating down the course. He knows this is a good time. He's trying to beat Sven Carlson, and he makes a dive across the line. Tommy Lotta just over a half second off the world record pace. Carlson set at 20.78 seconds. Tommy Lotta, a lofty time of 21.54 seconds. Very, very solid effort from the big man from Finland. The number one threat to Carlson's Yoke Race world record. 
The top competitor on the leaderboard right now, Zadruna Savickas of Lithuania. Waiting for the signal now. And Zadrunas is off. Wow, this guy can motor for a big man, Doug. He sure can. He's very limber and moves through 15 meters, Jamie. Zavikas is putting on a show here at Clinic. I think he wants this record. He's really going for Sven Carlson's record here. This is going to be very, very close. So I think Zavikas thinks he's got it. I think he does think he has it as well. Zadruna Zavikas looking at the clock. Raising a fist in joy, we'll have to wait and see if he eclipses the time set by Sven Carlson. That's 20.78 seconds. Well, just look at Savickas on the replay here. For a big man, he's just motoring down the course, getting faster and faster. And that's a new record for Savickas. An incredible time, Doug. 17.71 seconds, a new world record for Zadruna Savickas. What an absolutely phenomenal record. Well, there is the man of the hour, the man of the day, the man of the tournament, Zadruna Savickas of Lithuania, eclipsing an earlier world record set by Sven Carlsen of 20.78 seconds. Savickas, 17.77 seconds. So far, Latvia has been a showcase for Lithuania's Zadruna Savickas. Can he close out the rest of the field? And who will make the cut for the final four? The IFSA European Championships from Riga, Latvia. Zadruna Savickas continues to dominate the leaderboard. Berkmanis and Lota looking to take two of those final four spots at the World Championships. Conan's wheel weighing 280 kilos, 617 pounds. One revolution is 30 meters. A 75 second time limit. This is the event the Finnish Beach Boy lives for. Here's the Finnish champion, this is Tomi Lota. He likes this kind of event. And he's going well so far, that's one lap. Yeah, Tomi Lota certainly has a very good pace going. And breathing nicely as he comes around to complete lap number two. He's coming up to three turns. It says 90 meters for Tommy Lota, the Finnish champion. Lota, what a job. He'll make it all the way around. Halfway through lap number three, he puts down what a big effort as Tommy Lota stands and waves to a truly appreciative crowd here in Riga, Latvia. Yeah, we just look here. He's flying through. That's three laps and he's not content with that. He's going to go a little bit further. That's a fantastic performance by the Big Finn. Next up, the Latvian warrior who's running out of time. Battling an injury to his right arm, We'll see what kind of distance Raymond could put up. You see him trying to shoulder the load on the left side, just cupping the right hand underneath and hanging on for dear life. Bergmanis through his first revolution. Well, he looks comfortable so far. He must be in a lot of pain though, Bergmanis. This is a good performance though, the crowd are getting behind him. Second revolution complete for Ray Bergmanis. And it looks like he's slowing up coming into his two and a half revolutions. That's around 75 meters. Every meter counts in the point standings now for the hometown hero. He drops to his knees. Two and three quarter revolutions between 80 and 83 meters for Raymond's Bergmanis will wait for the official distance. Look at that on the replay. Yeah, we see Bergmanis here fighting. You can see him grimacing in pain. He's fighting for every inch. And finally it's down. Well, Ray Bergmanis 
giving it his all for the hometown fans. And what do you think the odds are he's going to throw his shirt out with his left hand? There you go. Capturing the hearts of Latvians everywhere. Raymond Sportmanis in Conan's wheel. Next, the man who broke a world record in his first event here. Can he hang on? Estonia's Andrus Muramet steps up. I don't think this kind of event suits Muramets, and he's fighting really hard here. You can see his face grimacing in pain, but he needs a good result here. The big Estonian through two revolutions. Makes it past the two and a quarter mark. Once again, you can see the pain biting in here to Muramets. And it's down. Andrus Muramets, has he done enough to maintain his spot as number two behind the big Z's, Adrunas Savickas, who's up next. The crowd really getting into it here at the European Championships in Riga, Latvia. 70.25 meters for Andrus Muramets. Next, a man who looks to be a favorite at the World Championship. There's the current overall leader. The man who set a world record in the long lift. The man who has set this sport on end lately. Yeah, he also did a world record in the Yolks. Well, the distance to beat for Sedruna Savickas is 105 meters. That was set by Finland's Tomi Lota. And what a performance that was. Well, here goes the current leader, Savickas. And he's the current leader by a full 18 points over the nearest competitor. Once again, not the tight. The body type that this event suits. But doing quite well here, Savickas. I think he'll be happy to get two revolutions here. Savickas passing one and three quarters. Starting to catch up to his second revolution where he crosses the axis. Still moving and trying to hang on. Every meter counts. Savickas with a put down at two and a quarter revolutions. 67 and a half meters. Yeah, Savickas on the replay here, you can see he's not going to the end, he knows just what he's got to do, looks at the placings and pops it down. Sejuna so Savickas has more than done enough to maintain his top position. Next, the dramatic conclusion of the European Championships, as the region's greatest strongmen battle the Ring of Stone. Riga, Latvia is the proud host to the IFSA Strongman European Championship. Latvia's own Raymond Bergmanis is on the verge of qualifying for the World Championships. Now in front of the home crowd and his family, he needs to survive the pain and bring a solid performance to the Ring of Stones if he's to survive. The Atlas Stones, five stones in under 75 seconds, starting at 140 kilos, 309 pounds, finishing at 180 kilos, 398 pounds. Now the Latvian legend must harness his emotions. The flags are waving here at Mesha Parks in Riga, Latvia, because hometown favorite Raymond Sportmanis is up next to take on the Ring of Stones. Jamie, we've talked about that sore right shoulder and that sore right arm, and this is gonna be a deadly event for him. It is indeed, but he's smiling. He's soldiered through so far, this is the last event and he needs to do well here if he's going to climb. A year ago this week you and I were here and we saw Raymond Sportmanis 
everything went horribly wrong for him and he only finished three stones. You know, despite the injury, he wants to make up for that this year and move on to the World Championships in Quebec. Well, he's got a mountain to climb here, Doug. It's all down to him now, Doug. His destiny's in his own hands. Well, we know if it's got to do with heart and soul, pride in the country and pride in himself, pride in his family, Raymond Sportmanis will give it his all. Well, he's not very fast. He's struggling a little bit there with two. Third stone at 140 kilos. Sportmanis up and on top. On to stone number four at 160. He's got it left, Jamie. Well, that looked the easiest stone. Number four looked the best left. He just kept all the pain out of his mind. Now to stone number five. Already eclipsed his head for the last year. This one's at 180 kilos. Making up for last year. It's an aim for bonus. All five stones. If we just look at Bergman, he's here. Stone one, two, and three were a little bit problematic. He comes up to number four. It's a better lift. Gives him the confidence to attack five. And boom, in goes number five. That's a great result for Bergmanis. Well, Raymond Sportmanis, all five stones in 44.31 seconds. So that will mean he'll at least maintain his position. For Shapansky, only a disastrous performance in the Stones can stop him from qualifying. We're into stone number one. Rolls it up. Gonna have to power it on top. No problem there at all. Number two on the shoulder as well. Very muscular guy, Shapansky. Stone number three. Shapansky up and on. 160 kilo, stone four. Lapped to the chest, right up top. Well, he's impressed everybody here, Robert Schapansky. Is he gonna be able to get number five? Schapansky, after stone number five. He was cannot get there. It. Just another inch. See him flexing his hamstring in the right leg. Trying to go down and get that stone could be a little more difficult than it looks. 180 kilos, Sh Shapansky has it lapped again, trying to roll it up and he won't get stone number five. That could be costly for him in the standings. The first attempt here on the fifth is just a couple of inches short. Goes back for it again. But he's getting tired and fatigued. Robert Schapansky ends on four stones. Robert Schapansky, four stones in 27.13 seconds. Looking to punctuate a perfect performance. And that will bring up the big man from Lithuania, the big Ziza, Druna Savikas. So Druna Savikas, stone number one is up and on. Savickis. Well, he certainly looks powerful here. Just flicking them in. Very nimble on his feet for a big man, Savickis. Number four. He's just powering through these stones, Jamie. 180 kilos, stone number five. Sir Judas Savickis finishing off the European Championships in style. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your 2005 IFSA European Champion, Sadruna Savikas. Coming off number three into number four, it just pops it on. It's never going to be a problem for this guy. He's so powerful. Up on the chest, pops it in. Savikas is the European Champion. At the end of the competition, missing out on a spot at the World Championships. Two legends, Magnus Samuelsson of Sweden and Sven Karlsson of Norway. Also missing out young Russian Mikhail Kuklaev and Robert Schapansky. After a disastrous finish in the Ring of Stones, he finishes in fifth, one spot away from qualifying for the world. Zadruna Savikas walks away with the European Championship title. Tomi Lota, 
Andrus Muramets also qualify for Quebec, as does a very emotional Latvian, Raymond Borkmanis, with his father by his side, witnessing his greatest strongman moments. For the entire field at the IMSA European Championships, it was a test of strength, stamina, courage, and personal determination. The chosen four dug deep within. They will now move on to test their medal against the world's best in Quebec City, Canada, as the fight to determine the strongest man continues.